DIY wall ideas for a high-end look that is quick and easy to make. If we hold ourselves together, we'll go far. Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one and I'm going to be starting off with foam boards to create an awesome wall decor. Now, a lot of you have been asking me why I start with foam boards on the wall first before attaching the contact paper. Now, I want to let you guys know that this is the reason why my walls are not smooth. One. Two, I live in an apartment. If I have a whole lot of wallpaper on the wall, taking it off, I'm pretty sure some parts of the paint is going to come off. Now, what I'm going to be doing, like I do for my other projects, is to attach the foam boards to the wall before then applying the contact paper. Now, if you have a smooth wall at home, you can skip the part of attaching the foam boards and just attach it directly to the wall. Now, if you live in a rental, you have to make sure that the paint that's on the smooth wall is not gonna come off when you take off the contact paper. The foam boards can be attached to the wall using command strips or tack nails. I use the really small ones that kind of look like thumbtacks on the wall, but without the caps. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using a white contact paper on this to cover up where all the foam boards meet. Now, the person who requested for this particular DIY had an issue with having consistency in the pattern. So I'm going to show you an idea on how to have that consistency throughout the pattern by cutting out the shape that you want on a foam board and then using it as your guide as you go along making the pattern. This square is 18 inches on all four sides and then diagonally it's 25 inches. So because it's too much of a square, I'm going to reduce the diagonal length from 25 inches to 16 inches. Now I'm going to go ahead and trace out the shape on the boards. You guys may not be able to see this because I'm making very thin marks to make sure that it doesn't show too much when I'm done with the design. This is the tape that I'll be using for this project and it's used for walls and for floors as well. The link for this is gonna be down in the description box below. Now you can also have contact paper cut to the size that you want. I'm going to be measuring two inches in between and making marks on them to guide me on where to continue attaching the tapes. As I'm attaching the tapes, I'm also going to be cutting out the edges to make sure that it aligns to the line that I have already drawn that's from the cutout foam board.
I'm using a sharp X-Acto knife to give me nice clean cuts. When I was done with this, I then went ahead to start the other project, which is also a requested video. This is the space that I'm going to have it done. And all I did was to attach foam boards on the wall and then use duct tape to cover up where they're being attached together. This is marble contact paper that I'm going to be attaching on the foam boards instead of just leaving it black. That's going to look exactly like the picture that was sent to me, but I prefer to use marble because it's going to give it a more sophisticated look. The gold pattern that's going to be on that wall will be made with full board cutouts. I'll be cutting out squares and making frames out of those squares and attaching them to the wall. I also cut random pieces that I'll be using for the design as well. Here's another self-adhesive tape that's in gold and it's also used for walls and floors. The link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm also going to be using silver tape for this design as well and the link is also going to be down in the description box below. I'll be starting with the silver tape because that's going to be attached directly to the marble contact paper. I glued two frames like this and then after I'm done I'm going to be gluing them to the marble contact paper. After attaching it I'm now going to be using the self-adhesive gold tape over it. Now you can do it like this or you can have the tape attached to the squares before attaching it to the marble contact paper. It's all up to you. A lot of you might be wondering why I didn't just use tape directly on the wall. Now I needed this design to have a lot of depth and contrast on the wall and not just staying flat. But the truth is from afar, it's hard to tell, but it's going to be nice when you come closer to it and see some kind of contrast and some kind of depth. Here's what it looks like when I was done. Now I love this. It is so pretty and I wish I did it on a larger wall because this was really cheap to make and easy as well. Here's what the first design looks like. And I love the monochromatic scheme that's going on with the black and white. I also wish I did this on a larger wall because I really love the way it looks. It took me about five hours to make both walls. And look at that. It has just transformed some bare empty walls that I had before into something much more luxurious looking. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and families as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.